Have you ever wondered what goes into your deodorant? Those long, unpronounceable words on the label can be quite baffling. It's a common fact that many commercial deodorants contain ingredients that could have potential harmful effects on our bodies. But there's a brighter side to this tale. Imagine the benefits of crafting your own natural deodorant. Knowing every single ingredient that goes into it, that's empowerment. Knowing what's in your deodorant is the first step to a healthier lifestyle, so why not make your own? Making your own deodorant isn't just about avoiding harmful chemicals, it's also about reaping the benefits of natural ingredients. Let's dive into the power-packed roster of ingredients that make this DIY deodorant a wellness wonder. First up, we have coconut oil. A fantastic moisturizer, coconut oil also possesses antibacterial properties that help keep those pesky odors at bay. Then we have baking soda. Acting as a natural deodorizer, baking soda neutralizes body odors, keeping you fresh all day. Cornstarch, our next ingredient, is a natural absorbent. It soaks up sweat, ensuring you stay dry. Lastly, essential oils add a dash of fragrance, and many have antimicrobial properties too. So we're not just talking about a deodorant here. This is a potent blend of natural ingredients that work in harmony to keep you dry, fresh, and smelling good while being gentle on your skin. With these ingredients, not only will you smell good, but you'll also feel good knowing that you're using a deodorant that's good for you. Now that you know the benefits of natural ingredients, it's time to learn how to make your own deodorant. All right, let's dive right in. The ingredients you're going to need are a quarter cup of baking soda, a quarter cup of arrowroot or cornstarch, three tablespoons of coconut oil, and a few drops of your favorite essential oil for that little extra touch of fragrance. First things first, we're going to mix our dry ingredients. That's your baking soda and your arrowroot or cornstarch. Just whisk them together in a medium-sized bowl until they're well combined. Next, we're bringing in the coconut oil. It's best if it's slightly softened, but not melted. Add it to your bowl of dry ingredients gradually, mixing as you go. You're aiming for a consistency that's sort of like Play-Doh, so don't be afraid to get your hands in there and knead it together. Once you've got that all mixed up, it's time to add your essential oil. Just a few drops will do, but feel free to adjust to your personal preference. Mix it in well, so the scent is evenly distributed. Now, for the storage. You've got a couple of options here. If you're a fan of the traditional stick deodorant, you can repurpose an old deodorant container. Just make sure it's been thoroughly cleaned out. Or if you prefer, you can store your homemade deodorant in a small glass jar with a lid. Either way, you'll want to keep it in a cool, dry place to maintain its consistency. Once you've transferred your mixture into your container of choice, give it some time to set. This could take a few hours, or if you're in a hurry, you can pop it in the fridge to speed up the process. And there you have it, your very own homemade deodorant. Simple, right? And remember, not only is this a healthier alternative to commercial deodorants, but it also gives you the freedom to customize your scent and know exactly what's going on your skin. Now, how cool is that? So, you've made your own deodorant, but why should you make the switch from store-bought deodorants? Well, let's revisit the benefits of this transformation. Firstly, remember those natural ingredients we used? Each one was handpicked for its unique benefits. Coconut oil, for instance, acts as a moisturizer, keeping your underarms soft and smooth. Baking soda neutralizes body odor, while arrowroot powder absorbs moisture. Essential oils not only give your homemade deodorant a pleasant scent, but they also have antimicrobial properties. These ingredients are simple yet effective, and they're all things you can pronounce. Not only are these ingredients beneficial, but they also lack the harmful chemicals found in many commercial deodorants. No parabens, no aluminum, no artificial fragrances, just pure, natural goodness. There's also a certain satisfaction that comes from using a product you've made yourself. It's a testament to your resourcefulness and self-sufficiency, and who knows, you might even find joy in the process of making it. Let's not forget the potential cost savings. Store-bought deodorants can be pricey, especially the organic ones. But when you make your own, you control the cost. You can purchase ingredients in bulk and make a batch that lasts for months, all for a fraction of the cost of a single store-bought stick. By making your own deodorant, you're taking a step towards a healthier and more sustainable lifestyle. And that's something to be proud of.